In this screencast I will explain the use of the APA document template and how you can insert citations with Zotero reference management software. So we have Zotero open here and now we'll uh, switch to Word and we'll start a new template, new APA document. So uh, whenever you want to start a new document you choose file and new front template and then you get the window that we have here. And uh, this is the, the building templates that you have and I have the APA style paper installed already but if you don't have that type APA to the search bar and then Word will load different templates from the internet and we want to have a paper not a report and uh, we'll use the first document here. These are just different versions of the same thing basically. So we'll double click on that, that and it'll give us a new document and this document template contains text, styles and it contains explanation of how to use the template. So when you apply the template I usually open the styles pane first and I'll check I'll switch on the, uh, the style guide so I can see which styles this document actually uses. So there are these styles are in use and they're in a color coded so I see which one is used and where. And if you work on an article then you should generally have this title page and but if you just work on like an, a school assignment or something like that then uh, you can just delete author note because there are no acknowledgements that you need to make or no conflict of interest that you need to declare. So you can delete that. Then there is uh, the table of contents and if you are working on a short report, let's say 10 or 20 pages, then having a table of content may not be necessary. So you can delete that as well. Typically, when you submit an article to a journal, you don't have the table of contents either because there's that's just not the convention but when I write things uh, articles myself I usually have the table of contents here during the writing because it helps me to keep track of how much space I spend on each section so let's just uh, delete the table of contents for now so we don't need that either and uh, then we have the abstract if you have something like a final report for a course or if you have a, a paper to, that you're writing for a journal then uh, you should have an abstract. So the idea of an abstract is that it tells you, uh, tells the reader uh, a short explanation of what the document is about, perhaps the main results, the motivation for writing the document, that, that kind of things. And for journals you also need to have keywords that allow other people to find the article in, in search but if you are just working on an assignment for a, a school or school project then you can just delete the keyboards no need to have that now if if you have only if you're just working on like a weekly weekly writing assignment using this uh, template then you may also consider uh, eliminating the title page or or the abstract let's let's take the abstract away so if we are just working on a weekly paper instead of a final report that is the weekly paper could be like two or three or five pages then having an abstract would be an overkill so we delete that, that as well and then we get to actually uh, to the writing of the paper and now we can see that these different headings are here so you of course delete this uh, all these things and and write your own or you can start writing your own things over these these headings but they show you uh, the different styles that are used so headings use heading 1, heading 2, heading 3 and so on and then this uh, normal body text uses the, uh, the, the normal style so you know that these styles are used and then uh, it gives you the APS style then in the end of the document we have the references we will uh, replace this set of references with uh, something that Zotero generates for us and then there are explanations of footnotes, explanation of how you add tables. In this document style you always add the tables to the end of the document and figures to the end of the document and that's what you should do in an article if you are working on, on a school project then you can have the figures and tables flowing in the text as well so there's no need to have it in the, in the there. And uh, let's just uh, delete all this stuff because we are 
not going to be using that at the moment. So we need the reference section and uh, let's let's type here our ti our title example paper and uh, or we can we can delete that and uh, type example paper that's heading one and uh, we can add a page break because it was deleted for some reason or just paragraph and, and page break before yeah. all right and then uh, we delete the text and we start writing our own things so we write our own things here and uh, this is going to be the normal style and I'll just use the text from from Singleton Straits and uh, that's how Singleton Straits define reliability. All right, and how do we add citations to this document? So this is just copied from the text and uh, we can we need to do two things because this has been copied from the book first we add quote decimal marks around it and then we replace these double quote decimal marks with a single quote decimal marks just to uh make it clear that this uh this is, is this quote here is not an ending of this quote but it's just the quote within the quote and then we need to we need to cite the book and to cite the book we open the Zotero tab here and there's add and edit citation there's a keyboard shortcut for this as well and if you uh, use this heavily then using the keyboard shortcut is faster than going through the, uh, the tab but we'll just do add and edit citation now the, uh, the software will ask us for a citation style we'll choose American Psychological Association like so and uh, then we have this bar that comes up and we start typing for example the authors and it searches for the items and uh, I have a fairly large library so it may take a a while to find it and we know that this is Singleton Straits 2018 we choose that and then we need to have the page number here so we have the page I don't remember the page but let's say just XYZ if you want to cite chapters or something else you can change here uh, what specific part you cite typically you cite with page numbers and uh, we click OK so this is a uh, the way that you cite quotations or, or cite direct quotations. There are also other ways that you can um, you can do this citation or do this, this text. Sometimes you want to emphasize that a particular source says something. For example, if you are working on a course paper and uh, the, the assignment is to tell how a certain source defines some concepts, then we can cite, we can write this slightly different so I'm, I'm copying it and uh, so we can do and now that we have the names of the authors here already we can do the citation a little bit differently so uh, we do add an edit type citation and we choose suppress author here the, the reason why we suppress the author is that the author names have already been mentioned and uh, so this is this is one way to do the citation but this is not actually uh, the, the right way when you have this kind of construction that you are, are first giving the author names then you should have as a part of your text then the citation actually should go here so it goes here and then 
we have the page number here at the end so that doesn't need to be done with Zotero and you actually can because this is really as not associated with any, any citation and then we don't have the uh, page number here anymore so we just say that this is what singleton straight say if we just we can also also do other things for example uh, we can say that our uh, reliability can be defined as or let's say reliability is commonly defined as the degree of stability. This is such a short, short part that we don't generally, we're just saying that it's about stability and, and so we don't need to have quotations because we're just using a single word from the, the source. Okay, so if we say that it's commonly defined as a degree of stability, we can add the citation to singleton traits, but we may want to emphasize that this is uh, just an example of, of how people commonly define reliability as a degree of stability. And we can use these, uh, these prefix and suffix to add things inside the citation. So we can use eg, so that's example for example, and uh, this would mean that reliability is commonly defined as the degree of stability for an example of such definition, see singleton traits, and we of course need to have the page number because we are citing a book. So I'm just gonna bring it up with the keyboard shortcut and it's gonna be XYZ. I don't remember the page number. Also, we can uh, use the suffix. And let's say that uh, our, we would like to claim that reliability, there are different definitions of let's say validity and now we could we could do something like like this so we still set singleton traits and we can do for example for a c for a review And uh, this prefix and suffix will be added to the citation, as you can see here in the preview. And this is another way. So if you want to add text inside the citation, which is completely okay, then you use the prefix and suffix. So this is the basic way of, of using Zotero. Uh, one thing that you should know that it is possible to edit this, this directly, but you should not do that because then Zotero cannot update it anymore. And for example, if you have misspelled the name of, of Singleton in your database of articles, and if you want to fix it later on, then if you have manually edited this, this text here, then Zotero cannot update it anymore.